Hey guys, welcome back to Auron Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW 3 or 4 series, guys, and you're trying to find where your PCV hose is located or the heater for the PCV hose is not working, we'll explain where to check the wire stay with us and we'll show you guys how to do that on BMW 3 and 4 series. As you know, 3 and 4 series, guys, they share the same platform, same engine, so almost everything will apply to both vehicles, guys. Quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop, including guys, this one here, we make more than 200 videos and specifically on 3 and 4 series BMW, we will have close to 300-400 videos, guys. Why we do that? Why we take our cars completely apart? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can by providing these free videos to you. All we, need in, all we need in return, please guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video if it was helpful. Another thing guys, if you need to buy a new hose because that's a weak spot, if you need to guys uh, buy replacement parts, tools, uh, anything for your BMW, we will share the links for uh, all that in the description of the video below and see where we get our parts from. So. This is a 2013 328i that we'll be demonstrating on, but actually guys, the procedure will apply to multiple 4 and 3 series BMWs with that N20 and N26 engine. First guys, we need to go ahead and remove the air filter box. Stay with us, we'll do that and then we'll continue. Second guys, we have guys our main channel auto repair guys all the mechanical videos will be there and if you want to see the replacement of that uh, PCV hose you can find the video there if you want to see any electrical videos com uh, engine codes airbag codes transmission codes and how to fix engine lights on that BMW guys all these videos will go to our third channel electrical car repair live so please subscribe guys we're planning on uh, making at least two to three hundred electrical videos and how to test uh, uh, all electrical components in that car and how to know how to fix it guys so let's go ahead remove the air filter box and we'll continue so now guys let me show you what we'll be doing here okay we need to go ahead and uh, get one hose clamp loose okay this one right there I'm getting it loose now. Okay, perfect, just like that. I need to disconnect the mass airflow sensor. So press in here, pull it out. Perfect, now we need to disconnect that hose from the clamps, okay? Now we need to point this way, so I can show you here we have one more. Perfect, guys. This is out now. Uh, let's come a little bit back, okay, like that. We guys have now a few mounts, so grab it like that. Okay, and start pulling it out guys okay let's see what else I have holding here because it's supposed to come already and it's a little bit stuck here guys okay perfect you can see it came loose on this side now I got in here so I need to get it out now it looks like it's still holding a little bit on this side and the hose clamp is not loose all the way Okay, and the whole assembly, and we have one vacuum line, came out. You can see just like that, guys. That's the whole assembly out of here. You have to be careful not to break your vacuum line where it attaches there as well. Careful not to drop anything inside your engine because that could be catastrophic, guys. So once you get, guys, that air filter box out of the way, check it out now, guys. Okay, this device right here, this is, guys, your PCV hose, guys. PCV positive crankcase ventilation hose right there. So it attaches guys to the intake hose and then it goes to the valve cover right here. Okay, it has two clips right there, two clips on the bottom and that wire right here guys, it's for the PCV heater. Okay, this wire here. If you guys need to remove and replace it, as I said, we'll have the complete video on our uh, second main channel actually, how to repair guys, so please check it out guys. But this is it guys, so you know where it's located now if you need to work on it. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that. Thank you for watching guys, please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time.